In this neutralization reaction, we have hydrobromic acid plus calcium hydroxide yielding calcium bromide plus water. Let's count the atoms up on the reactant side. We have hydrogen, one of those, plus we have one here. And this two, that applies to everything in here. So one times two is two. So we have one plus two hydrogens. That gives us three hydrogens. We have one bromine, we have one calcium, and again, this two goes to everything, so we have two times one, we have two oxygen atoms. Over on the product side, hydrogens, we have the two, bromines, we have two, calciums, one, and oxygens, one. So things are not balanced here. What we could do is try to fix the bromines first and see if that also fixes the hydrogens. I think it might. So if we put a two, a coefficient, in front of the HBr, we're trying to get two bromines here to balance these two. One times two, that'll give us two bromines. Those are balanced. But then we need to update our hydrogens. So now we have the one times the two, that's two hydrogens, plus we still have the two times the one, that's two hydrogens. So actually we end up with four hydrogens. But I'm okay with that because an even number is a lot easier to deal with. So why don't we fix our hydrogens? We need four of them, we have two. So we'll put a two in front of the H2O. Now two times two, that'll give us four hydrogens. Okay, they're balanced. And now we need to update the oxygens. We have one times the two. So one times two, that'll give us two oxygen atoms. And actually that works out because that balances the oxygen. So we're done with this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HBr plus CaOH2 yields CaBr2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.